How fast is he though? How fast is he though? Oh! Run, run, run. Oh my god, he's on my tail. Escaped from Liam's obsession, Kate seeks refuge in her grandpa's mansion. Strange occurrences raise questions about Liam. That glass shattering just interrupted me, bro. I thought I was gonna be playing creepy ass soft music. Let me get back. Strange occurrences raise questions about Liam's presence or another figure. Unraveling mysterious letters, Kate embarks on a journey seeking peace. I don't like this. I don't know if y'all, let me turn this off. I don't know if y'all know or not. Well, I don't know how you would know, so you don't know. But now you will. Bro, being stalked is probably like my biggest fear. I don't have to worry about it because there's no reason somebody would stalk me. It's stalked, like it's a fear, but I don't think I ever would be. I don't know why I would be. You're stalking me, you're losing your time. I don't you're wasting your time. I don't know what you would stalk me for. There's nothing to stalk me for. But I feel like this is gonna be like a tension building game. Just freak me out. So let's get it started. This is gonna be scary as shit. I can already tell you can see that dude in the background right here uh wide ass shoulders got football pads on and then this girl's not even paying attention so i already know my character's gonna be dumb just off the thumbnail of the uh the game i mean the stalker's nothing but five five eight but well, he's got wide ass shoulders uh 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 i guess we're getting stalked by hornswoggle i don't know anyway let's hop straight into the game i'm about to let y'all hear crisp coke zero no caffeine because i'm not trying to uh stay up till five again i stayed up till five last night playing the game with my friend Friends, I have those. Just fucking sprayed in my face, dude. This is a terrible start to the video. <sighs> Let's get in it. I'm hyped. I'm hyped, but I'm fucking scared. I'm only hyped because I'm scared. W A S D up. Yep. Shift to sprint. We have a sprint. If you see sprint in a horror game, you know it's gonna be scary. Let's uh, let's get. I don't even know. I'm trying to come up with a name. I said Hornswoggle. Hornswoggle was like 3-4. This dude's like at least 5-8, five, 5-9. Five, I'm just I'm just talking, bro. I'm scared. I had to break up with Liam, and I hope he takes it well. So Liam's stalking us. Off the bat, I already know. Why am I... My frames are dropping. My computer can't handle the ultra graphics on this game. Hold on. Let's just go high graphics, y'all. I'm so sorry. I walk so slow. Whew. Oh, is this my house? Oh my god, we're balling. What was that room behind me? Oh, I can't go in here? Okay. Can we go outside? I don't want to go outside. Oh my god, look at our house. You know you're rich if you got pictures of uh, uh, Greek gods on your wall and stuff. Oh my god, that was my belly. I thought there was a monster in my house already off rip. I need to make some food. I'm hungry. Okay. I'm glad they're giving me an objective. Why can't you eat the potato chips? Okay, whatever. I'm glad they're actually giving me an objective though, not just let me walk around. I hate horror games that just like, don't tell you what to do. Wrong floor, for example. Can I turn it off? Please? Bro, light, can you move? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's so fucking dark. That shit was killing me, dude. Gave me no direction. Just having me walk around, having that seven foot dude chase me. So you're gonna choose this, what is that? Peas oatmeal over the potato chips on your, your desk over there? Like what? That is not what was in that can, bro. Developer, what do you have going on, bro? Who will be knocking on my door at this hour? I don't know, but I'm running to the door. Where's that? I'm guessing it's where we came from. I'm guessing it's over here. Who's there? Hey, honey, can I come in? I told you it's over, Liam. So no, you can't come in. Go on. You can't just leave me like that. I love you more than anything. It's over, Liam. Just go home. Oh! Uh! I can't even do the voice that scared me. Open the door, Kate. No, I'm not opening the door. I don't love you anymore, Liam. You will be mine again soon. Call the cops. Did you see, did you hear how he knocked on the door and you're not calling the cops already off rip? Yeah, run the fade. I have chills, I have chills, I have chills. Food should be ready. Let's go cook up. Fuck Liam, we don't need that dude. Let's go finish our food right now. Yep, let's go eat. 
Ew, bro. Eight food straight off the pan. Are you some kind of psych? Shut up, Steam. Can't believe I just said that. A bath to calm myself down would be great right now. What do you mean a shower? Do you have a bathroom in your house or no? Is everything just over here? No? Okay. Oh, is this the bathroom? What is this? Oh, yeah, it is. Big ass bathroom. Can I open any of these? Or is there a knife? I can't believe you didn't call the cops after that. Uh, knock Liam just did on your door. Oh my god, bro. Nope, no, 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 no. Just get in the shower. Just get in the shower. Just get in the shower. D uh, ignore the sound. Ignore the sound. Fuck me, man. Fuck me. And what do you mean, what was that? You know what that was. Don't play stupid. I can kind of see out this door. Hold on. Bro, this game is already fucking me. Nah, bro. I'm running. I'm running. Ain't no way. What is that? Did he miss the first time so he didn't throw another one? Or did, is this one? Oh, that's a paper ball. Give me another chance, please. I will treat you well and do anything you want. I promise. Just one chance is all I ask. That can't be too much, can it? XOXO Liam. Bro, Liam. Throwing a... Throwing a rock through my window is an insane way to try to win me back, bro. He threw a rock up here? How? Who is this dude? Uh, Shohei Otani? Hello? Clayton Kershaw? Hello? I don't know any other pitchers. I haven't watched MLB in like 10 years. Justin Verlander? No, like actually, where did he throw the rock from? Even even over there is impressive. You gotta have good accuracy arm strength to get right through the door. But there's no way he threw it from down there. Like is he above it or something? It's impossible, bro. Let's go ahead and get in the shower. <laughs> oh! My mouse just flew off my desk. My mouse just flew off my desk. Y'all, y'all, when I saw that door open, I was trying to turn, bro, I'll just demonstrate. When I saw that door open, when I turned around, <sighs> sorry, excuse me, my mouse, I was like this, like looking around, I saw it, my mouse was like this, bro, I was like turning, and as soon as I heard that beat drop, that scary violin and him cough, I literally tried to turn and my mouse went flying off my desk. Like it literally flew. I'm not even joking, that shit flew off my desk. There's no way I, I can run from, where would I run? We're in a 10 story fucking apartment in wherever city we're in. We're in a 10 story apartment and you want me to run from him? Why don't we grab a knife and stab him? Because there's nowhere for us to run. We are 10 stories in the air. Where is Kate trying to run to? Out in the hallway, down the fucking 10 flights of stairs on the elevator? No, he's gonna catch you. I'm gonna see how I- are, are we jumping out the window? He's not giving me this time. Yes, try again. D What's up, bitch? What's up, bitch? Yep. Run. Yep. Get the fuck out of here. I didn't even have to see him to run away. Matrix. He's in the back. He's in the back. Now nah, we're cooked. Nice car, though. If you can change your park drive neutral from your uh if you can change your gear i don't know what i'm saying i'm not whatever if you can change your parking thing with a knob that's how you know your car is nice and look how big the screen is too she has our temperature to 19.5 i don't even know it could go down that low anyway let's get out of the car oh trash ass wallpaper grandpa help me what's your grandpa gonna do Fucking hit him, hit him with his cane? Hello? Grandpa? I need your help. Hey, Kate. What's going on? Liam broke into my apartment and chased me. I barely got away and now I'm in my car with nowhere to go. That's horrible. Are you okay? Did he hurt you or some- or something? He doesn't care at all. His grandpa doesn't give a shit. Did he hurt you or something? No. Uh, I got away before he could do something, but I'm terrified he will find me. Okay, okay. I assume you're looking for a place to stay for a while, right? Yes. <clears throat> yes. 
That was no better. That was no better. You could come live with me for as long as you need. However, I'm going to be on a business trip for one week. That's fine. It's still going to be safer than staying here. C can I go there right now? We're still here? So you got in your car and you didn't drive away? What? Anyway. Yeah, I'll send you the address. The key to my house is in a flower pot. Also, remember to keep the doors locked. If you need to go outside, you can always check the peephole first. Foreshadowing. I see you, developer. Good foreshadowing. Okay. Thanks again, Grandpa. You're a lifesaver. No problem. I hope all goes well. And don't hesitate to call me again. Kinda scared me. Oh! My... Why did we not leave? What are we doing? Drive! Drive! Turn right! Holy shit, bro. This game is terrifying. Right! He's gonna be right there on the road. Drive faster. What are we in a Kia Soul? Go f at least five miles. I heard the knock too and I knew. That was a close call something something. Liam won't be able to find me anymore now. I've finally broken free from that toxic relationship. No, you haven't. We have like 30 minutes of this game left, probably. We haven't broken free from shit. We're cooked. Especially with your survival skills, you you get chased out of your apartment, you just sit in your car right outside of it. What is your problem? I, I told y'all from the start, the way she was looking at me in the title screen, I knew she was going to be terrible. I knew she was going to be the dumbest character I ever had to play. Bro, what are we doing? Oh no! Did Liam manage to follow me? Whatever. I'm getting too paranoid now. Of course it's not him. Probably just a neighbor. That's definitely Liam, bro. Who, who is it? Who's a neighbor with you in the middle? Of course we go to the middle of the forest, bro. This game's too loud in my ears right now. Press F to turn. In a flower pot. I remember that. Let's go get the key. Yep. Is there a key in here? Nope. Watch this be a creepy ass mansion too. Watch this be. Wow, it's dark in here. Let's turn some lights and find the bedroom. I want to hit the bed ASAP. Of course, this shit's fucking. Watch, watch the power be out. Oh, okay. Nah, I'm actually fucking terrified. Y'all don't understand. This is way worse than wrong floor. This is way worse than wrong floor. Where are the lights at, dude? Find the bedroom. That shit's probably upstairs, isn't it? I guarantee there's a creepy basement too. Bathroom, bathroom. Let's turn the lights on. Yep, that's definitely got mold in it. Don't take a bath. Don't take a uh, bath in there. I'm not going upstairs. We have to go upstairs. This isn't the bedroom. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Please be right. Why was this light on? This isn't the bedroom, bro. You have to be kidding. You actually have to be kidding. Oh wait, let's lock the door. Thousand IQ. Nope. No. 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 Can we lock it? Can we lock it? I'm smart. Can we lock the windows and shit too? Hold on, hold on. Y'all are watching a real gamer at play. We can't lock the windows. Let me just make sure there's no other doors. Okay. Door is locked. Ooh. Somebody's up here, bro. Somebody's up here for sure. Okay. Bro, you picked an even creepier place to go. You probably picked the creepiest place you could have possibly ever picked to go. You could, you don't have friends back home? You turn on all the lights in the house. Yeah, can we close this, please? Lock it. We can't lock it. Great. Watch, she's going to need to go to the bathroom or get water before bed. Please don't. Thank God. Thank God. Bro. Wow. Wow. I slept that long. 3.55 a.m. Nothing good happens at 3 a.m. I'll tell you that right now. Nothing good happens at 3 a.m. Oh, it's 3 p.m. Is Grandpa home already? He said he'll be gone for a week. What do you mean? Somebody just knocked on the door, bro. Hey, we locked it, though. Remember, Grandpa said, remember, uh, Grandpa said, check the people. Also, can we look out here? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, not, you know a horror game's good when it has you scared in the daytime, too. Like, not just at night. Like, it, it's so good that... Like, it has you scared in the daytime. No, bro. You use the people for the first time? What, are we going to use it multiple times? 
check the door. Oh my god. We're the worst, like, we're the dumbest character of all time. Please get in the car. Can we leave? I checked the door, bro. What else do you want me to do? This door? No? What do you mean, check the door? Like, I checked the door. What are we, what are we saying? Am I supposed to be looking around? Oh, I'm blind. I'm blind. Dearest new resident of this mansion, I'm the previous owner of this mansion, and you're the person I've been looking for. I hope to see you stick around for a while. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. I will be watching you. Watching me? This is strange, to say the least. I need to get going to the store before it's too dark, though. Let's be careful. Yeah, dude, like, you... I, w what is her logic with things? She gets a rock thrown through her window and her ex is banging on her door. She doesn't call the cops. We get to this creepy ass mansion. Somebody knocks ding dong ditches, put the letter down. And then we don't call the cops when it says I'm watching you. And now something's probably about to happen at the, uh, this is not a grocery store. Okay. What's that? Some kind of paper? Oh no. If this says something about watching me again, dude. Missing person. That is me. Missing person poster. Wow, it's creepy. How similar she looks to me. That is me. Oh, my name's not Ashley. Never mind. Ashley missing. Si what if I am Ashley and I've been missing since then and now I have a different name because I got brainwashed or something. Ashley missing since August 15, 2013. Please help us bring Ashley home. If you have any information, even the smallest detail, contact the police. We don't know how to do that. So even if I... I guarantee if I saw Ashley, I wouldn't even call the police. I don't even think I, I don't even think my character knows 911's number. <clears throat> Your assistance can make all the difference. This is horrible. I hope they found her. Look at the shopping list. Canned food, snacks, soda, milk. Let's worry about that in a second. Let's talk to bro at the ATM right here. Stranger. Oh, hi there. I haven't seen you before. Are you new? Yes, sir. I'm new. Yes, I just moved in. Where do you live? Don't tell him. I don't feel comfortable telling you that. Thank you. Are you alone? Every damn person in this game is just a creep. Um, I'm in a hurry. Sorry, I gotta go. There is no way that man just did that. Sir, fix- go to- go to Turkey and fix whatever you got going up here before you worry about where I live, okay? And, and fix that beer belly. Planet Fitness is $10, sir. That scared the fuck out of me. And I don't know what shoes you have on. Those aren't bad. Those aren't bad. And you're married, sir. Sir. And you're married. Actually, that's a right hand. Hold on. Never mind. No, you're not married. You can never be. Especially with that uh, sunshine bald spot on the back of your head. Yeah. Didn't think so. What's up, clerk? I like the beard. I like the beard. What's your fit looking like? I can't see. Okay. All right. Let's just get groceries, but let me stop playing around. Let me get a cart or a, a, a buggy, whatever. I guess I'm carrying all the food. Okay. Canned food right here. Tuna. Tuna. Okay. That's not canned food. Okay. This is canned food. Meatballs. This is better than the first uh, snack I had in the game. Whatever that oat was. More chips. Okay. Why are these bags? Yep, bye, sir. Let's see what car he gets in and make sure he doesn't pull up to my house or something. I think he's in that van right there, unless he's about to break in my car. Yep, bye, sir. Let's go pop his tires. Go pop his tires. Go pop his tires. Motherfuck. Yeah, where are you going? Where do you live? Where do you live, huh? What's your license plate looking like? No license plate. Oh, New York? Yeah, sir. You're not from here. I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Two license plate. Okay. Get in your car and sit there. Wait for me to come out. I guarantee that's what he's doing. Soda. Back to it. I don't know why we're carrying all of our snacks right now. Not just getting a, a, a cart. But whatever. Milk cereal. Yep. Over here. I'm already knowing. I'm already knowing where everything is. Wine. Would that not be in the cooler? No. I don't drink y'all. Don't, don't flame me. Oh. I just saw it. There we go. Premium quality? I doubt it, bro. We're in a gas station. Hello, sir. 
H hello is that all yes all right total is 2250 that's not bad thank you for shopping here also i can tell you are new to the area how long are you staying for just a week bro i can tell him he's cool no problem i'm not sure yet not too long i would assume all right have a good day here are groceries thanks you too see this is the first dude in the in the game that has been a cool guy he hasn't said anything creepy just ask how what i'm doing whatever and i'm new sir if you do some stupid shit <laughs> oh! you know a young beautiful lady like you shouldn't be out all alone bro i'm so sorry if any of y'all have to experience this shit in real life the whole game has been creepy ass dudes and we've ha only had one good guy he just teleported out of his car to call me beautiful and say I shouldn't be alone. This is like the third dude to ask me if I'm alone or tell me I shouldn't be alone. Get the fuck out of here with that off-brand Carhartt jacket on. What do you want? I do have some wishes, but I think it's best they remain unspoken, bro. Be careful and don't let me catch you all alone again. If a if Kate or whatever her name is doesn't grab a some kind of weapon right now, I don't need your warnings. Please respect my space and stay away. Fucking creep, dude. He drives a blue car. Other dude drives a white van. I don't know what Liam drives. Keep that in the mind. Keep that in the mind. If, if we ever have to figure out who's stalking me. Let's not forget the groceries in the car. Yeah. Why are the lights all on? Why are all the doors open? Oh, hell no. I don't remember ever seeing a kitchen in here. Uh, now, it nope, 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 nope. Go ahead and lock that. Oh, fridge is over here. Bro, close these fucking doors before I have a panic attack. No, I'm actually freaking out right now, y'all. Actually freaking out right now. Did I lock the front door? Yep. Dude, th this is this game is nasty. Yep. Go ahead and call Grandpa. While I stand in the corner with, with Jesus, Jesus Christ, please, Jesus Christ, please. What if I just don't move? Bro, what is this town? What is this town, y'all? Oh fuck. Oh! Hide, 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 hide somewhere. No, I, I'm, I'm scared. No, y'all, y'all, y'all. This is insane. What do you mean, check the door? Are you fucking kidding me, game? You cannot be serious right now. You're telling me to check the door right now. There's no one here. Told you. If he jump scares me. Y'all, I can't. Y'all, I can't. If I click this button and he is behind me. They want me to go outside? You cannot be serious. You cannot be serious. They want me to go outside. Fuck it. I'm that girl. I didn't let not one of y'all get me. Congratulations on settling in. You may believe this mansion is your refuge, but every step you take reveals a deeper game. I'm with you in every choice, every move. There's no escape from becoming mine. Yep, yep. Finally. Go, go, go. Get in the fucking car. Drive. Drive. You're kidding me, man. You're kidding me. If you just drove away... 
Yeah, why now of all times? You should have drove away three days ago when you got the first letter on your fucking doorstep. Yep, get inside. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. Watch them not answer. There's no way. What's your mercy? Uh, I, uh, somebody's fucking stalking me. Hi, I need help. I've been receiving threatening messages, letters, and texts. I'm really scared. I'm here to help you. Can you please provide your location? I'm at blank, blank, blank. It's urgent. I know you all hear that. I understand. I'm dispatching officers to your location right away. Can you describe the nature of the threats? They've been watching me, following me. The messages are getting more intense. Please hurry. Stay on the line. We help us on the way. In the meantime, try to find a safe and secure location within your home. Make sure to lock your doors. The officer should be there soon. Run, motherfucker. Wait, did, did they stay locked? Yep. Make sure this door's locked. Yep. Locked in. Go upstairs. My secure location is my bedroom. Get right under the bed. Under the bed. Yes, they're locked. Please hurry. Help us on the way. Stay strong. I'm here with you until the officers arrive. Someone just... Someone just try to open the door. Bro, we're cooked. Officers will be there any second now. Please no. Please no. Please. Please, officers. Blick that man in the face. I don't care. Get in! Get in here! Cop, please. Tell me something, bro. If you tell me I have to go downstairs... Was the dude from the fucking store? We're bringing him in for questioning. If something else happens, don't hesitate to call us. Take care. It was the dude in the white van, y'all. I told you. Thank you for your help. I just spit all over my monitor. I'll be sure to reach out if something else happens. Let's go, man. Phew. What a relief. I never thought I'd feel safe again, but maybe things get back to normal now. Should be safe now. Let's head to the basement outside and restore the power. It's gonna be the dude from the blue car now. I'm not going out the front. That's what the game wants me to do. I'm already knowing. I'm already knowing. Oh, yeah. Why is the basement open? There's someone down here. Close it. Nope. Okay. There's someone down here for sure. There's for sure somebody down here, y'all. The fuck was that? Okay. Power's back on. Power's back on. Please no, please no, please no, please no. No need to scare me, y'all. I'm that girl. I stink of sweat. Let's take a bath before I go to sleep. You stink of sweat. That's a crazy statement, bro. Just say you smell bad. It's not that hard. There's a bathroom downstairs. You gotta be kidding me, man. Let's make sure that front door is locked, y'all. Make sure that front door is locked. Yep. Somebody's in here. Nope, okay. We're good. Jesus, man. This game is ridiculous. My anxiety has never been worse than right now. I need a sip. Y'all, I'm so paranoid. It's actually insane. Finally, a moment of peace. She's gonna say that, and then so she's gonna go, huh? Somebody's gonna be right there. Watch. But why would that stranger go so far from me? Whatever. It's over now. Something's got to be up with this house. Why are they so obsessed with whoever's in this house? No, there's no way. No, there's no way. You're not hearing things, bro. You're not hearing things. Kate. Kate. You're not hearing things, bro. Somebody just fucking took a picture of you butt booty naked in the shower. No way, man. There's no way. There's just no way, man. Run, just run, just run, just run, just run, just run. I'm so tired of being scared. Oh my god, I heard just somebody still not to jiggle the, no the doorknob. I heard somebody jiggle the doorknob. I heard somebody jiggle the doorknob. And why haven't we called? Just call the cops immediately, man. Is it still nighttime?
The storage room? I don't even know where that is. Uh, this? Downstairs? Oh my god, this game, man. Y'all, the noise stopped. That's the storage room. That's the storage room. I'm not fucking scared. <laughs> It was just a nightmare. No, it wasn't. I saw it. It was real. You should probably call to check on Liam. How Liam is doing. I mean, the reason that this is happening to begin with is me because I broke up with him. It's all my fault. If I just stayed with Liam, if I just stayed with Liam, he would have kept me safe. This is the definition of a toxic relationship, y'all. This dude slammed on my door because I broke up with him. It doesn't even matter the reason I broke up with him. I don't care what it is. Bro, he's crazy. Goes ahead and throws a rock from Yucatan all the way up to my window. Somehow, full power breaks it with a note still attached. Comes up to my car after I run away from- Run away. Let me emphasize the run away. Not like he was like- playing around he chased me to my car and then he smacks the car the smacks the car and just stares at me and doesn't say a word he's a psychopath and i want to call liam but like at the same time i don't but like i need somebody i can't go through that again but what if i call liam and then he does the same thing because he kind of did it before but maybe he was just heartbroken you know he wasn't really a creep he was my boyfriend pause not my boyfriend i'm gonna call him because i don't want to go through this alone and i feel like if i don't it's gonna be a mistake we're calling liam we're calling liam i don't i hope i don't reveal my location before he says something though because think about it all he wants is me back he doesn't he doesn't maybe it's for the best he didn't answer let's put my money at something else but first let's make sure the house is empty so i just gave him my location I take everything back that I just said. I just gave him my location. So that's just great. Um, you know. He probably is pinging my cell phone as we speak. There's somebody in here. What's up, bro? Something looks off about that book. We're about to reveal a secret basement, aren't we? That was a crazy sound. Hell nah, what does my grandpa have going on? A sudden disappearance. Ashley's whereabouts. 27-year-old Ashley was reported missing August 15th, 2013 by her husband. Two days after she disappeared from their home. Last seen in the residence, Ashley's sudden absence has raised suspicions, with her husband emerging as the prime person of interest in the ongoing investigations. While authorities continue to, continue to search for leads, they urge anyone with information to come forward and assist the search for Ashley where she was last seen y'all where she was last seen is here i'm not opening that yet. i'm reading all this first can we close this though this is freaking me out look honey we made the, the news pretty cool right i can't replace you ashley there's no one that as special as you why did you force me to do this i never wanted to harm you my fault how is it my fault how is it my fault i didn't want it to end like this you left me with no other options what the frick did I do? How am I going to live on without you? What is the point of all this? I'm typing to a dead person. I would do anything to get you back. Am I dreaming? I swear that is you. 4-9-2023. She looks just like you. Have you come back to me 10 years later? Y'all. So the dude from the store, if I'm not... Y'all, I, I might be having a slow moment and y'all might just flame me in the comments. If I'm not mistaken, the dude from the store in the van was Ashley's husband in 2013 and he killed her. And then he saw me at the store and was like, oh my God, that looks like my ex-wife that I bodied. And now he, th he thought it was me April 9th. He thinks it's me 10 years later and he, he tries to come back and body. She's just as beautiful as you were. She has to become mine. She will, no matter what. I can't let her run away from me like you once did. Y'all. Oh, I didn't even see this. This is back in 2013, two days after the disappearance. Why would you why would you want to leave me? 
I've done nothing but be good to you. Whatever. It doesn't matter anymore. You're never leaving me again now. There you go, Ashley. I'm about to get jump scared. I'm about to get jump scared. Grandpa, what's what's going on, bro? Why is there a body in your house? How have you not grabbed that book off the shelf? Do you not read or something? Grandpa, are you there? Yes, has something happened? A lot has been happening. I received creepy letters and been followed by someone I don't think is Liam. I called the police and they arrested a suspicious individual lurking around the house. But when I thought it was all over, I found a strange hidden room in your house that contained some psychotic things to say the least. A head? You're not gonna mention the head, you're gonna mention the psychot- whatever. What? This is insane. Maybe the police arrested the guy leaving the letters. In a hidden room? I I've lived there for 10 years and I've never seen that. I'll be cutting this business trip short and coming home ASAP. I can't stand not being able to help you. I'd like to think they arrested him, but but what if they didn't? What if he's still out there? What if they arrested someone who, who got set up? It makes me so uneasy just thinking about it. What do you remember about the person who bought this who you bought this place from? That could definitely be the case. I remember that his wife had recently gone missing without a trace. Ugh, he's rhyming. I know y'all hear the MC grandpa. That could definitely be the case. I remember his wife went missing without a trace. It was the talk of the town for quite a while. And his name was And his name was uh my name is what my name is Chicka Chicka Slim Shady. Let's go find a flashlight in case I need one later. I think I remember seeing one in the basement. Why do we have to go to the basement again right now, bro? I'm so scared, y'all. That's actually ridiculous. I'm scared to be like looking out here and there's gonna be a person standing somewhere. Y'all remember that room was locked? It's down here, but how do we get in there? I want to see what was in there. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Hello? And we're just not going to say anything about it. We're just not going to say anything about it. Because that's just who Kate is, huh? She just doesn't care when some creepy shit happens. I said search for a weapon. Now you want to search for a weapon. Let's start by looking through Grandpa's office. Bro, now you want to search for a weapon. I have been telling you this whole game to look for anything you can, and now you want to search, man. Have to be kidding. Please be a Glock. Oh my god. Fat-ass Grandpa. Useless Grandpa. Nothing of use in here, of course. Oh. No way, no way. That has to be Grandpa, right? No! He was on a business trip. You think he came home in five seconds? Find a weapon now, Ash. Uh, Kate? Whatever your fucking name is, piss me off. Let's turn the flashlight off, y'all. If this isn't Grandpa, y'all, before I look, I'm finding a weapon. I, I'm destined. Or I'm. What? I'm not destined. What am I saying? I'm determined. That's what the word is. Y'all, I don't think it's gonna let me get a weapon. Whatever, bro. Let's just go look. We're not even gonna grab this fi frying pan or whatever that is. We're just gonna go straight with our flashlight too. Please be grandpa. <laughs> it's the dude from the store. Why, sorry if I scared you. I just had to come clean, but cleaning about something. Why are we looking at his ding-a-dong, man? Of course you did. You were the creep that talked to me earlier outside the convenience store. What do you want to come clean about? I know it was creepy, but it wasn't my idea. Liam told me to do it in hopes that you would take him back to feel safe again? What? He wanted me to get scared at a store so he would- so I would call him. Y'all, this is the worst boyfriend of all time. I was supposed to take it a step further, but I couldn't do it. I felt too sorry for you. It all makes a lot more sense now. Thank you for telling me. I still don't feel safe around you. Can you leave now, please? Yes, of course. I'm sorry again. Like, bro. You did all that for Liam? Why are we still in the peephole, y'all? Can we get out? We've been sitting at this peephole since daytime? Are you kidding me? What's my objective now, bro? Really? It's night already? Yeah, you sat there for eight hours. Like our fourth time going to bed. 
Shut the door. Go to bed. Oh my. The bedroom door? Hell no. The bedroom door? That's this door. I mean, no shit. Don't tell me, don't give me an objective to check the bedroom door because I'm not doing it. I'm going to bed. Wait, let me try to, let me try to find a weapon first, y'all. Is this a newspaper? Grab this. Grab the Bible, man. Fuck it. There is no way. You thought there was, this, you thought that, you thought it was over. You thought it was over. What is that, Jacob Sartorius, Matty B? You thought this was over? You feel helpless now, don't you? Your car doesn't work, your phone is dead, the police think they got the person behind this and you don't know where I am. There's nothing that can stop me anymore. What, what do I do now? I know, if I follow the other path I saw when I first got here, maybe I can find some neighbors that can help me. You're gonna walk through this house after that man just did that to you? He just ding dong ditched your bedroom door? Get the fuck out of here. What's the other path? What's the other path, y'all? What's the other path, y'all? This? Oh my god, I'm so scared. You don't even know the feeling, man. I can't even tell you how scared I am. That's how scared I am right now. This path, this path, this path. Yep. Make a little cut through. Yep. Watch, we're gonna get to the neighbors. They're gonna be dead as hell. Y'all, I'm... I can't do this anymore. Who had the blue car? Who had the blue car? Liam? What is this, dude? Oh. This is how I get to that room, maybe. In the basement. That was locked? Oh, we're locked in, man. I hear somebody coughing. Is that Liam? I hope. Blood? Oh, fuck me. Yeah, blood. Are we following the blood? It's Liam. That's Liam. What happened to you? Why would someone do this to you? Ain't no way. They were taking pictures of me in a bubble bath, man. I'm killing this dude. Whoever this is, I'm killing him. I'm killing him. You took a picture of me in the bath. You went in my sh in my room and ding dong ditched me damn near. There's a coffin. It's Ashley, y'all. I told you, we're about to go in the house and kill this whoever this motherfucker is. Let's go, y'all. Let's go, y'all. Can I can I not get back up here? Nope. Okay. Great. I literally have to run out the tunnel and go back home. I can't climb up the ladder. Okay, cool. Great. No way! No way, y'all! Hey, I couldn't wait anymore. I need you now, my new Ashley. So, it, it was you who has been sending me the letters. I know I look similar to your ex-wife, but that doesn't mean I can replace her. I don't care. How you look is more than enough. Come here. I've been waiting so long for the- Pull his beard. I have to run before it's too late. Yep, bitch. How fast is he though? How fast is he though? Oh! Run, run, run. Oh my god, he's on my tail. He's on my tail. He's on my tail. The cops are here. Big, big police. Big police. Big police. There's no way. I thought I was locked in. Let's go. Big police. Get him. Get him. Do we win? Let's go! The police arrived on the scene just in time. Thanks to Grandpa! The realist! He hurried back home after the abrupt ending to Kate's phone call with him. The realist one out here is Grandpa. When he arrived at home, he realized that Kate was nowhere to be seen. He got a sinking gut feeling that the worst might have happened. It almost did. He called the police instantly, and they made it just in time. The relief Grandpa felt after the news was like nothing else. 
what happened to everyone else involved. The man in the white van said that his reasoning for being outside Kate's home was because he saw a stranger following her home from the store. Of course, the police didn't believe him when they saw no one else was there. But when the news broke free about this, the police realized their mistake and that he had actually been telling the truth the whole time. He was released the same day. Liam's accomplice was never seen again after the incident. Damn. The psychopath who killed his ex-wife Ashley, Liam, and almost Kate ended up getting sentenced to life in prison. Should be death. Should be death. No parole. Oh my god, I'm pissed off. Kate is doing her best to recover from the incident, but it's difficult. At night, she often hears those daunting knocks on her bedroom door, disrupting her attempts to sleep throughout every day. She finds herself checking behind and scanning every corner, consumed by fear and paranoia. I am so pissed off, I'm about to go on a crazy rant. Let me just get this over. Thanks for playing! A horror game made by who? Solo developer Corvin Ruler, bro. Corvin Ruler, this was an amazing game, and the fact you made it by yourself is even better, bro. Y'all clap it up for Corvin, swear. That was a good-ass game. That was a good-ass game, and there are so many messages that, like, coincide with this game, with it being also a good-ass game. It's That was a good-ass game. W game. Absolutely a W game. What I wanted to come on here and say is just the message that game just gave me, at least, and I hope all y'all out there watching i don't know if it was meant meant for this but it's the fact that you can't trust anyone nowadays i was being stalked by my ex-boyfriend liam he was crazy throwing a rock i know i'm making the jokes of him throwing the rocks whatever bro crazy that i hope no one ever goes through that alone and then everything else in this game i go to my grandpa's house people are stalking me i go to the store there's creepy ass dudes but you know the one dude in this playthrough that i said was a cool ass dude I even complimented his fit. I called him cool. I was like, look, he's the only creepy dude uh, out here, or only non-creepy dude in this game. Um, yeah, you're a cool guy. And then the fact that he turned out to be the killer and the one stalking me, the one taking pictures of me butt naked in the bath, killed a woman, killed the Liam's dude, killed Liam's friend, killed Liam, almost killed me. It's a message. And I don't know if it was meant to be a message, but it's a message for me at least. To just like, first of all, don't judge a book by its cover. That's huge. Because I judged a book literally, it wasn't even the cover. It was the picture on the cover, if anything. He just said two words to me. And I was like, oh, you're a cool ass dude, man. Thanks for being cool. See, this is the first dude in the, in the game that has been a cool guy. And then I go outside and these two creepy dudes are on me. I guess the message being is just... I want to say trust your gut because my gut said he was a cool guy i don't know what i'm getting at but you know what i'm getting at i think y'all know the message in this game the message in this game is crazy it's that society is messed up stuff like this i know happens all the time i mean maybe not exactly because that's a crazy story but it's probably happened creepy weird fucking dudes even girls out there like it goes both ways People are fucking weird nowadays. I mean, it's always been like that, but I feel like now it's more prevalent than ever. I mean, you see people, the girls in New York, like, filming themselves after getting punched in the face, like, crying on TikTok. Like, what do you even do about that? People are just walking around the city now, getting clocked in the face randomly for no reason at all. People can't even look down at their phone while walking around without being scared to get rocked in the face. It's just insane, bro. And I think this that's the message this game gave me, at least. And I don't know if it was meant to be this message or anything or convey to anyone. But it's just that you gotta watch out nowadays. You, I'm not, and that's not to instill fear in anyone. It's just you gotta keep yourself safe nowadays. You gotta always watch your surroundings. You gotta always keep things in mind. And that's just the sad truth of nowadays. Everything's just messed up. Anyways, y'all, sorry for that crazy rant. That game, that game hit me. That game hit me because I was scared the whole game and then the ending, just the wave of, I don't know, the wave of comeback. I don't, that was cringe. I don't even know the feeling. Just the wave of that, just, it hit me. So that was a good game by, uh, I'll, I'll put your name right here somewhere. I'll put your name right here, I swear. Good ass game by you. The fact you made it by yourself, bro. Uh, you deserve a second round of applause by me. Second round of applause by me because that was, that was great. The tension building in that game, the jump scares, the sound, the sound design especially, bro. 
flawless. This game just came out, solo developer on Steam, only three bucks for that good ass uh, story, good ass game, good ass jump scares. Great video. I hope y'all enjoyed the game as much as I did. I hope you enjoyed the video even more. And I hope y'all laughed once or twice in this video. That's, that's the whole goal of these videos, just, you know, getting a laugh in your day. Making your day a little bit better, making your day, night, whatever. Afternoon, 3 a.m. I mean, that's when I watch these videos most of the time. I hope I could just make you laugh, make your be day better. I hope you enjoyed the game. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the time. Uh, Y'all have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. <sighs>